I've come to a dark, dark cave to do some dark, dark ghost hunting. With my dark, dark EMF meter, I'll just turn it on. Oh, you can't see it. Because it's not backlit. We're gonna fix that. So here we are with no backlight. And we're gonna take it open. Obviously. I don't think you really need to see this process. So here's the circuit board. The coil in the middle is what picks up the magnetic fields. And what we're gonna do, take the screen off and put some lights behind. Once the screen is off, keep track of what's the top and what's the bottom, because you could put it on upside down and it just reads a load of garbage and then you have to take it off and put it back on. So here's our screen. And we've got this little black piece of plastic which doesn't really need to be there. I'm not going to go into the maths to calculate the current limiting resistor we need. I've done that in another video. You can use an online calculator. If you use these exact ones, uh, I'm sure you can read that, then 180 ohms is what you need. Or more. As long as it still lights up and it's more, all good. Now I'm going to file this down. I don't think I'm going to show you that whole process. <laughs> I'm not twisting the leads around each other at all because I want them to lie really flat because I'm going to put some insulation around them. Since I'm using two resistors, I'm soldering one on either side. You don't have to. If you're using just one, you can put it this side, that side, in the middle. The circuit does not care where you put it. Oh man, the light's gone dim. I can't see anything. Yeah, I should, um, I should brace this for something. That'll do. And now we test. Other way around. Great. Just make sure both LEDs are the right way around. If you have one reversed, nothing will happen. Now we need to make holes in this black surround over here. And holes. We need to make, we just need to cut a little notch. Now to power them, I'm going to scratch the insulation off the ground plane, which almost everything on this top side of the circuit board seems to be. Just follow it from where the black wire connects. See these are the little small traces in the middle there. You don't want them. But this big huge trace up here somewhere. And I'll make sure it's somewhere it won't interfere with the case closing. Scrape the insulation off, so one end on there. And then we get the... Do you know what? I think we want the negative over here. Alright, I'm just going to pop my cover on here to make sure I've got a... Uh, place where I can access the circuit board there, I think. I'm going to scrape the, the lacquer off with a knife or a machete or an axe or whatever you happen to have. This will lie in like that. I think we'll put it that way. Solder it down there. Before we do that, I'm going to put some insulation tape, I guess around the exposed wires. Ow, 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 singe, 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 burning flesh, burning flesh. All right, that'll do. I'm gonna slip some masking tape underneath. I don't have any insulation tape, or I do have, but I don't know where. So this is just for the purposes of getting this put together so I can demonstrate. I will rework this in a much more clean and nice looking way. You on the other hand have no excuse. So we are going to find out the layout of this switch. Right, middle position. The middle position is for measuring in Teslas. 
Right, so it's all oh those two are yeah I can see they joined together. So it doesn't matter. And I'm guessing in the Gauss position, the one everyone uses, this will be yep, and that one nope. So what we can do follow this to somewhere or just solve it straight on there. Now if you're gonna do this yourself, that one. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned about that diode maybe burning up with the extra current going through it. Which is why I was tempted to solder this side of it and just take the battery out. But a diode is a diode is a diode. If it burns up just replace it with a bigger one. That won't burn up. Simple as that. Right, so are we soldering directly to this pin? Or can we find a better place? Right, it's the power pin of that uh, IC. No, I don't really want to dick around. Oh, hang on. That resistor's connected to it. I could maybe maybe come around the circuit board and just solder to this trace that might be I could drill through the circuit board somewhere alright let's see if I've got clearance to go around the board I take this wire bend him around the circuit board like that so we're going in behind this goes in here. Oh, there's miles of clearance. Clearance all day long. So, you see these three traces going up through this channel here. We're going to scratch some insulation off the middle one. And only the middle one. And it's to that that we solder our positive connection. So that when we turn our meter on, we have well, it's going to be a blobby mess. Ah, serviceable. Want to pop off now when I take this clip off? No? Good. Okay, let's give it a quick test without the screen on first. We're going to put it all back together before you see the screen. So, middle position measures in Teslas. No one uses that. This one. Woohoo! Put this all back together, see how it looks. We're going to test it in the dark because obviously I don't really care if it's a bit dim with light shining on it. I just want it to look cool in the dark. Okay. Alright, I've turned it around so you can read the make and model. If you have this, you can do it exactly the same way if it works. It'll work. I can fix anything. Now, so if I got this right, and I turn it on to measure Teslas, we should have no backlight. Switch to Gauss, we should have backlight. And we do. Obviously, it's kind of puny looking. But. Right, we're back in the cave. Let's turn on our EMF meter. The big reveal. And there we go. It's out of focus, but yeah, I can read that. 0.01. It was 0.02 for a second. I can read the numbers, and that's okay. It's not going to focus because. Oh, there we go. So now, do your own. I think I'd like it if the light was more diffuse and evenly spread out, but I'm sure there's things you can do. You might even be able to buy little backlight panels just for that. Oh, quick preview. That was my knee clicking. Focus, focus. Yeah, here we go. Who's that spider from the last video? <laughs> the one I literally just shot. Here's an odd looking one, look. I think that's just a normal house spider. I think. 